in this video, I will consider one example to implement Boolean function using 8 is to 1 max and 4 is to 1 max. Implement the function f of a, b, c, d is equal to, so here mean terms are given using 8 is to 1 max with a, b, c as select lines, 4 is to 1 max as a, b as select lines. So this is the given Boolean function. We have to implement this using 8 is to 1 max where we should consider a, b, c as in as select lines and in another case we supposed to use 4 is to 1 max where we should use a, b as select lines. As we know here a, b, c, d are given these supposed to be used as select lines. These are nothing but select lines but in first case we supposed to use 8 is to 1 max where we should use only a, b, c as select lines. In that case we supposed to use d as a data line. Now let me consider the first case first. Let me use 8 is to 1 max where I will consider A, B, C as select lines. So in that case D can be used as D can be used as data line. So for understanding purpose, first I will write all possible inputs with four variables that is A, B, C, D. We know that it is 0, 0, 0, 0. We have four variables A, B, C, D. That is for mean term 0. For 1, it will be 0, 0, 0, 1. For 2, it is represented as 0, 0, 1, 0. For 3, 0, 0, 1, 1. 4, 0, 1, 0, 0. 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. 6, 0, 1, 1, 0. 7, 0, 1, 1, 1, 8, 1, 0, 0, 0, 9, 1, 0, 0, 1, 10 as 1, 0, 1, 0, 11 as 1, 0, 1, 1, 12 is 1, 1, 0, 0, 13, 1, 1, 0, 1, 14, 1, 1, 1, 0, and finally 15 is 1 1 1 1. So these are the possible values with four variables. Now let me see the given main terms are we have 0 1 5 6 7 9 10 15. So for these main terms the output function is 1 or high. So let me write that 0 1 5 so for 0 1 5 6 the output is high. Then we have 7, 9, 10. That is 7, 9 and 10. Then we have 15 and we have 15. For other cases the value is 0. So this is the true table with respect to given function. So here we supposed to implement this using 8 is to 1 max. So this is the 8 is to 1 max. In 8 is to 1 max we have 3 select lines because 2 power 3 is 8. We have 8 data lines and 3 select lines. So here, here I will assume A, B, C are select lines. Let this is A, B, C. These are select lines. So here I will use D as a, a data line. So this, so now we have to write the implementation table. Implementation table. So in implementation table first write the possible data lines. So here the data lines are D02, D7. Let me write that. That is so this is data line 0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7. So in implementation table write the data lines here like this. D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7. So here as I said A, B, C are the select lines. D is supposed to be used as data line. So here we can observe in D column alternately there is 0 and 1. So here we can observe that for 0 it is 0, for 2 it is 0, for 4 it is 0. For 6 it is 0 that is for all even values d value is 0 for all odd values d value is 1. 
So now let me take this data line as one column I will use for D bar, another column I will use for D. So D and D bar as nothing but the data lines. So here, as I said, for even values, the value of D is zero. So value of D equal to zero means what? It is D bar. For one, it will be D. So now I can write it as zero. Here I can write this is two. As I said here, zero, it is zero. For two, it is zero. So this entire column is for zeros. So here it is zero for even values. So it is zero, one, two, three. It is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. These are all possible min terms. So here for d bar that is zero is present in even values and d that is one present in odd values so the next step is here we supposed to mark the given min terms so here the given min terms are 0 1 5 6 so 0 1 here we have 0 put the circle for this and here 1 put the circle for this so wherever there is a 1 in output function that is for 5 and 6 it is 1 that is also given in the min term 5 and 6 put circle for 5 and 6 similarly put circle for 7 and 9 this is 7 9 then we have 10 15 we have 10 and here we have 15 so now after writing the implementation table so here we can see that in this row there is a circle for both the values in that case the value of this one will be d plus d bar that is d plus d bar we know that d plus d bar will be equal to 1 so here both the values are not circled so its value is 0 so here it is circle for the column d so its value is d here both values are circled so its value is again 1 so here it is circle for 9 it is corresponding to the column d so its value is d here 10 is circle it is with respect to column d bar right d bar here so here 12 13 are not circled it is 0 so here at 15 is nothing but d so that is if both the values are circled then its value is 1 if both the circles are not circled its value is 0 then depending on the column which value is circled we supposed to write d and d bar now according to this table we can see that d naught value is 1 so d naught value this this line should be connected to active high or it should be connected to logic high so here we can see that d naught and d3 are connected to logic high so let me take d naught and d3 so this is d3 so these two lines are connected to logic 1 so now d1 is 0 and d6 are 0. So d1 and d6 are connected to 0. Let me connect d1 and d6. So this is d1 and d6. d6 are connected to ground. It means ground means what? Logic 0. Similarly now d2 is connected to d. So this d2 line is connected to d. Let me take another color. So this D2 line is connected to D. Let me take it as D. Similarly, D4 line is connected to D. So this is D4 line. This is connected to D like this. Similarly, D5 line is connected to D bar. So this is D. I will pass through the inverter. The value of this is d bar so it is connected to d5 it is connected to d5 so then d6 is already connected to ground that is logic 0 and d7 is connected to d that is d7 is connected to d so d is here thus we have implemented the given boolean function using 8 is to 1 max where we have considered a b as select lines 
C and D as data lines. Now let me consider the second case. Now let me implement the same function using 4 is to 1 max. This is the given function. We are supposed to implement this using 4 is to 1 max. So here it is said that A and B, here we have 4 variables that is A, B, C and D. Among A, B, C, D, we are supposed to use A, B as select lines. These two variables should be used as select lines. C and D. So in that case, C and D should be used as data lines. So here the data lines are two variables. So with the help of two variables, the possible values are four. That is, we know that uh, C may be zero, D may be zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, one. These are the possible data values, zero, 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 one, one, zero, or one, one. In terms of variable, we can write it as C bar, D bar, C bar, D, C, D bar, and C, D. So here, first we have to write the implementation table. So for 4 is to 1 max, we know that it has 4 inputs. The 4 data lines are D0, D1, D2, D3. So as said here, the select lines are A and B. So here we have to write the data lines values that is D0, D1, D2, D3 like this. And we have to use C and D as a data line. So that can be written here. So with respect to this, 0, 0 is nothing but C bar, D bar, 0, 1 is nothing but C bar, D, then we have C, D bar, C, D bar, then we have C, D. So now let me tell you how to write the cell numbers. So here D naught, so D naught is, will be selected when A and B lines are 0, 0. So here D0 will be with respect to 0, 0, D1 will be with respect to 0, 1, D2 is with respect to 1, 0 and D3 is with respect to 1, 1. So here in this cell, it is 0, 0, C bar, D bar is nothing but 0, 0. It means this is 0, cell number is 0. So here we have 0, 0, it is 0, 1. So 0, 0, 0, 1 is 1. So here it is 0, 0, 1, 0, that is 2. 0, 0, 1, 1, that is 3. Likewise, this will be 4, that is 0, 1, 0, 0. This is 4, 5, 6, 7. And here it will be 1, 0, 0, 0, that is 8, 9, 10, 11. So here it is 1, 1, 0, 0, that is 12. This will be 13, 14, and 15. So we have four variables. The possible numbers are 0 to 15 all things we have written here. So after this, now for these mean terms, we have to put the circle that is 0, put the circle for 0, 1, put the circle, 5, 6, we have 5, 6, 7, 9, this is 7 and here we have 9, 10, 15, this is 10 and this is 15. So now after writing this, we have to implement, we have to derive the inputs required for D0 to D3. So let me consider the first row. First row is with respect to D0. That is, now I can write this D0 will be equal to, so here 0 and 1 are circled. The corresponding variables are C bar, D bar. And while considering another one, we have to put plus, that is C bar, D. So I can represent it as C bar, d bar plus c bar d so let me simplify this or here if i take c bar as common c bar we can get it as d bar plus d which is equal to c bar because we know that d plus d bar is equal to 1 so its value is c bar so similarly for d1 here three numbers are circled the corresponding variables are this one, this one and this one. Let me represent this phi with respect to C bar D, C bar D plus 6 is with respect to C D bar, C D bar, 7 is with respect to C D plus C D. Let me simplify this. I will keep first term as it is C bar D. So here in between these two terms, I will take C common 
plus I'll take C common will get D bar plus D that is D bar plus D I will simplify this further so this is C bar D we have plus D plus D bar is nothing but 1 therefore it will be C dot 1 is again C this is C so this can be represented as by distributive law that is we can write distributive law I can write it as C plus C bar C plus D that is C plus C bar we have C plus D so in turn this can be represented as C plus C bar is nothing but 1 therefore it will be C plus D so D1 will be equal to C plus D now let me write for D2 that is D2 will be equal to here it is circle for only these two numbers corresponding variables are C bar D plus C D bar that is C bar D plus C T bar this is nothing but XOR gate C XOR D so here we have D3 will be equal to C D C D so therefore now I can write here D naught is nothing but input for D naught is C bar input for D1 is C plus D and input for D2 is C X or D and input for D3 is C D. Now let me connect these variables to the corresponding inputs. So here D naught will be equal to C bar. So here we have D naught input for this is C bar. So let me take this is C variable. I will pass through inverter. The output of this is C bar. So we know that D naught is equal to C bar. The output of inverter is connected to here. So this is D naught. So D naught line will be selected when A and B are 0, 0. Then D naught will be connected to F. That is F will be equal to C. So D1. So here D1 is equal to C plus D. So we need one X, one OR gate. Let me take one OR gate. Input for this is one is C. Another input is D. This is D. Output of this is connected to D1. So when A, B is 0, 1, then D1 line is selected. Similarly, D2 is equal to C, X or D. Let me use one X or gate. So input is one input is C. Let me connect C. Another input is D. So output of this is C, X or D. It is connected to D2. So similarly we have D3 is equal to C, D. So we need one AND gate. Input is C and D. That is this is C and this is D. C, D. So C, D is connected to D3. So this is the circuit diagram of 4 is to 1 MUX. And here we have implemented considering A and B as a select lines. Thank you for watching.